Hi, I'm Chris from Cycle Scrub. Today we're going to look at fitting the front wheel onto a kid's bike. If the bike arrives without the front wheel taps, there are several methods of fixing it to the frame. We're going to go through each of, the th of these, so including wheel nuts, hex keys and the quick release mechanism. And we'll also take a look at a bike fitted with disc brakes. So before you fit the wheel, you have to work out which way around it, it actually goes on the bike. Uh, on most tyres, if you look, you will find a marking which indicates the direction of travel or drive. On this one it's here, there's a little arrow showing the direction. So if you, to work out basically which way it goes, just follow the arrow. If you think about pushing your bike forwards, the wheel will go in that direction. So in this case, this is our right hand side of the bike. So before we fit the wheel into the frame, we're just going to make sure it's the right way around. So checking for the direction of travel arrow. There it is on the right hand side, that's great. And then just to show you, this threaded section here is the axle of the wheel. And that is going to sit in these slots here on the fork. This is the fork. So it wants to sit right at the top end of the slots so that it's seated correctly. And you'll notice here there's a washer as well. So that needs to be nice and tight up against the nut. The fork will fit into this gap here. So the washer and nut are on the outside. There we go. So as you can see there, the axle is up against the top, top of that slot on that side and on the other side. So that's nice and nicely positioned. The washer slides back. And you can see here there's two little lugs as well, which are like a, a backup safety mechanism, if you like. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. But basically what it does is if your wheel nuts are not tightened up enough that can hold the wheel into place and stop it dropping out. So I'm just going to finger tighten these up on both sides and I'll demonstrate how that works. So the wheel is still slightly loose. You can see that movement there. But the wheel's not dropping out because the washer is catching just on the lugs. Okay. Now, so what we do now is they're finger tight. Now we get our spanner, which will either be supplied if you buy a good quality bike, uh, it'll come in the box, or if you bought second hand, then you know you'll need to buy one if you don't already have one. Uh, quite often they're 15 millimeter, but you'd need to check. Okay, and then I would clockwise tighten these alternately until both knots are nice and tight. You don't want any looseness at all. So the last thing you need to do is a safety check. So lift the bike up by the handlebars and you should have no movement here at the axle. So wheel a bang on the top, also move it from side to side. Give me a good wiggle and make sure all is tight. So with the quick release you have a skewer through the middle, an adjusting nut here on this side and a locking lever here. Uh, when it's adjusted properly the lever should be into position just in front of the fork, uh, not touching because obviously that could hinder full closure. So. Adjust the nut so that you get about halfway closed. You start to feel resistance on the lever, like that. And then using the palm of your hand, fully close it so it's nice and tight. When it's correct, as I say, you'll get an indentation on your palm of the lever. So we've looked at quick release and we've looked at normal wheel bolts. You can also get 
hex key bolts as well for attaching your wheel to your bike. So once again, make sure the wheel is seated nicely in the forks, tie them up by hand, and then tie them correctly. In an alternate fashion, until they're tight.